We're going to have a look at uh, one of the system forwarding features now in the Mitel 5000. You'd use this primarily to forward an unanswered phone. So, for example, uh, we in our offices we have uh, upstairs and downstairs uh, sales and engineering. If sales are trying to put a call through to myself, for example, uh, I might not be available, but there might be another engineer available that could deal with the call. So we will set up an extension so that uh, if you ring it and the call is unanswered, the call will automatically be forwarded to another extension or to a hunt group. And then the call can be forwarded back to the original extension's voicemail so nobody loses a message. So to do this, uh, simply connect to your Mitel 5000 system, uh, expand the system section, navigate to device and feature codes, uh, expand uh, the phones section, and select the phone that you'd like to put the forwarding path onto. Once you've expanded this, uh, simply select the forwarding paths under the phone and right click on the right hand side to add uh, a forwarding path to the phone. So it'll ask you what type of device you'd like to add, forwarding paths, the only thing we can select. And you can see a big list of empty forwarding paths because we haven't actually programmed any up yet. So select the first one and simply press add items and then press finish. Double click on the forwarding path that we've just created and you'll see the top option again is uh, forwarding paths and you'll see that there's an icon just next to the value and that little arrow just means that it's a shortcut to another section in programming. If you double click this you'll see that you've been transported to another section inside of database programming under phone related information and under system forwarding paths. On the right hand side you can now see a list of all the forwarding paths on the system. So the forwarding path that we've just created or we've just added or associated with our extension is forwarding path 1. So let's give this a description of sales then voicemail so our first forwarding path if the phone is, un is unanswered I would like the call to be directed to the sales group so under forwarding point one simply right click and select change forwarding point select hunt group from the list press next and select the sales team. Press finish. And now if a phone if a call is sent to the extension and the extension does not answer, after fifteen seconds the call will be sent to the sales group where the call will stay until somebody answers. If we add a second forwarding point and we just right click on forwarding point two and change the forwarding point. Okay, so what we will do here is select the second forwarding point. So we'll simply select the forwarding point to right click and click change forwarding point. Now if we scroll down on here to voicemail and then select next and then just select voicemail and press finish. So now the behavior of this forwarded extension will be if the phone is unanswered, it will ring the sales hunt group and then if the sales hunt group is unable to answer, the call will be redirected to the voicemail of the original dialed extension. This is a uh, fairly standard setup. In, in a lot of companies so that uh, calls are answered and handled effectively uh, and 
this would be set up by Denmoir as part of an installation. If you have any further queries regarding pump group forwarding, please contact us using our website.